Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Now that we've done all of the journal entries, which these are the journal entries from the basic journal entry videos, the first and the second one. So now that we've done our journal entries, how do we find balances in those accounts? Because we can't really do anything with these until we can find the balances. So what we use in accounting is we use something called a T account. And what a T account is, is it actually, it looks like a T. Oh, let me go back to my pen here. Okay, so it actually looks like a T. So let me write cash, because that's going to be my title. And then I'm going to draw a T underneath it. Just like that. That's why we call it a T account. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my T account as I go through my journal entries. So I've got cash, I've got computer equipment, I'm going to abbreviate some of these so they take up less space, computer equipment, common stock, So notice I'm making one T account for every item we used. Okay, so let's put in this first journal entry. So I've got $20,000 debit. Notice in the T I've got a debit side and a credit side. So I'll put in $20,000. Then I've got $5,000 in computer equipment. And I've got common stock of 25. Okay, so the first one's done. Now let's do the next one, office supplies. So we'll make one for office supplies. Okay, and my office supplies, I've got 500 debit and cash is my credit. Okay, notice you don't have to leave spaces or anything you know, to signify the different journal entries. You might want to put a reference, so like if you want to put one next to this one and two next to that one, you could do that, that'd be okay. Okay, landscaping equipment, so I need one for that. and landscaping equipment. I bought $22,000 worth of landscaping equipment. I paid $5,000 cash. And I also took out a note payable. I'm actually put this here in case I need more space for note payable. I'm just going to put NP. Okay, and my note payable was $17,000. Okay, <clears throat> next I've got cash and revenue, so my cash is going up 2500 I need to make one for revenue. And there's lots of different things you could call revenue. You could call it landscaping fees earned. You could call it revenue. You could call it landscaping revenue. So there's a lot of different ways you can um, name your revenue accounts. Okay, so it's 2500 then I've got landscaping supplies, and I don't have that one yet, so landscape supplies, 1500 and that was accounts payable, so make one for accounts, accounts payable, I'll call that one AP, and that was 1500 Okay, rent expense, I need one for that. There's my rent expense, that was 900. And then cash was 900. Job expenses, so notice all I'm, you know, once you do the journal entries, the T accounts are pretty easy to do. expense, 600, cash 600, because all we're really doing is all I'm doing is I'm writing in the amounts 
from the journal entries into the correct column. So let's see, I don't have accounts receivable yet. So let's put that in there. We'll call that AR for accounts receivable. Accounts receivable, 4,500. I already have revenue, 4,500. Okay, accounts payable, I'm paying off the accounts payable, 1,500. And my cash is going down 1,500. And then I'm getting 4,500 in cash. And my accounts receivable is also, is going down 4,500. So let's find that one. Okay. Cash is increasing 1,400. So that's a debit. And my unearned revenue is increasing. That's one I got to make. unearned revenue and let's see so that is 1400 then dividends I don't have dividends I'll make dividends okay my dividends are 1000 and my cash is going down 1000 so I'll actually extend cash down a little bit here. Okay, so now we have to get balances in all of these accounts. So let's do cash last because cash has a lot of transactions in it. So my computer equipment, if I draw a line, okay, I'm going to take my debits minus my credits. If I come up with a positive number, then the balance is a debit. If I come up with a negative number, then that means the balance is a credit. You'd also think of it as what's the normal balance in the account, what should it be? So my computer equipment, I only have one transaction, so my balance is $5,000. My common stock has a credit balance of $25,000. My office supplies, only one transaction, $500. Landscaping equipment, $22,000. And I kind of like to put a little underline under this so I know it's a balance. <coughs> Note payable, I only have one transaction, so that's 17000 My revenue, let's see, that would be zero, 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 and 7. Okay, so my total revenue, I added the two credits together to get the 7000 Landscape supplies, 1500 Okay, accounts payable, I've got 15 credit, 15 debit. My normal balance is a credit, so I'm going to put my zero over here. Rent expense 900, job expense 600. Well, underlines in. Accounts receivable 45 minus 45. Accounts receivables and assets. So the normal balance is a debit. Unearned revenue 1400. Dividends, 1000 Okay, now I got to do cash. Cash is a monster. There's a lot going on with cash. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so if I add up all of my debits in the cash column, I get 28400 If I add up my credits, I get 9500 So 284 minus 9500 is eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars. So put in eighteen thousand nine hundred, and that's my balance in cash. So now the next part, once you have this, is to put all these accounts in order from most liquid to least liquid, assets, then liabilities, then equity, then revenue, then expense. Okay, this is what we call trial balance. So the next stop is the trial balance. And you're going to put things assets, then liabilities. Oh, hold on. Spelled that wrong. Undo. Liabilities then equity, 
revenue and expenses. Okay, so you'd want to put your cash first, right? And list all of your accounts from most liquid to least liquid with assets first, then liabilities, equity, revenue, and expenses. In the next video, I'll show you the trial balance, and then we'll go over some adjusting entries.